Hello you all, I'm Black with Yaya. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. And today I wanted to make a video correlated to my previous video, The Power of Words. But today I wanted to do The Power of Silence. So when I first started out, I knew I needed to practice silence just because I'm always talking. I don't know if it's the Gemini in me, if I'm not talking out loud, I'm talking in my head. So when I realized during meditation that I have to practice how to calm myself, to shut myself up and really just listen to my spirit and the universe during meditation to receive messages without any distractions I knew silence was just as important as words because we need silence to properly hear the messages that the universe our ancestors and our spirit has for us and if it's too noisy and noisy can be actual sounds or just our surroundings if it's too cluttered our mind is too cluttered our thoughts are too cluttered we're too cluttered we can block out messages so when you silence yourself when you clean up your environment you're clearing spaces to receive messages today we are talking about the power of silence so I thought the perfect crystal of the day would be the main crystal that I use when I meditate which is the fluorite I like to call this the focus crystal it cleanses and soothes your aura Fluorite assists with learning and retaining information as it increases focus and concentration. The fluorite also helps with self-confidence and decision making. And you can get your focus fluorite from blackwitchyaya.com. This goes to the old saying, you have two ears and one mouth, so it's very important to listen. So when you are meditating, you may realize, oh my gosh, I have all these random thoughts that pop into my head. You really have to catch yourself and shut them out. For myself personally, I like to meditate with blindfolds on just to get rid of visual and sound distractions and just how when you're reversing in your car you don't know what to do in traffic you turn down your music because it's like you could see better and hear better so that's the same thing you have to do with your mind you have to turn your mind down and since we're always on go we're always thinking about the next move what we have to do what we're gonna cook for dinner what time we gotta be be to work all that stuff you have to have the skill to just basically shut up and listen just like our parents used to say, sit down and be quiet. We have to have that self-discipline for ourselves. Just how if you're more of an observant person, when you get around a new group, you may just be quiet, listen to what everybody else is saying, feel the vibes. You need that silence to properly take in information with our surroundings, the people who we hang around, and just messages in general. Just how when you get off of work, if you have kids, if they're making too much noise, it's like, I just got away from noise. I just drove through traffic. I just want to sit down and be quiet because it's your time to decompress. Decompress your body, decompress your mind, and just have a fresh start for the next tax at hand and this is important in general when it comes to spirituality since we're always busy we're always doing stuff sometimes it's hard to take time out for ourselves which is the main key to our spiritual growth and just thinking about silence in general to me it's a lot harder because I am a talker whereas someone who is more shy and timid to themselves trusting and having the emphasis on their words will be harder for myself for example let's just say you have someone talking crap about you on social media I have a lot of experience with that sometimes it's hard for me just to be quiet because you don't want to feed into that energy so I had to force myself jazz don't say nothing just be quiet you have to kill them with kindness and kill them with silence as well you guys know it's best just not to entertain people to give off your energy it's more power in just being quiet in those type of situations just as if you want to receive a message from the universe you may not know what to say you may not know what to write what to ask for if you don't know what to do just sit in silence and let the universe universe talk to you directly and give the universe your spirits your ancestors a chance just to communicate you without any outside distractions and if you're a busybody if you're always talking you're always into stuff this may be hard that's why it's power in the silence because it's so hard to accomplish just because the noise that we experience every day True magic happens in silence, just as if you're doing your manifestations, you're scripting, you're doing rituals, you're doing your spells. It's important to get to yourself and get rid of the outside noise. I believe it was in speech class when I realized that noise is not necessarily actual talking or sounds. Noise could be you're up in front of someone and you have on a distracting necklace. That necklace is a noise because it's distracting someone from your actual words. So noise could be you're trying to meditate, but you just had spicy 
food so you finna a little gassy that gassiness is a noise because it's distracting you from your peace so those are just small examples noise can be any outside distractions where there is sound a physical being a physical thing a sight that you don't want to see noise is just a distraction that prevents you from accomplishing silence and this is why again for people who are just starting out on their spiritual journey i don't feel like you're just starting out to me you start your spiritual journey the day you are born but for those people who are just diving into a different sector it's important to practice meditation in silence or if you listen to hertz or meditation music just being able to get to yourself and focus because once you accomplish and master bringing yourself to a silence you will be able to do everything else with ease because calming your mind can be the hardest thing to do since we're always on go always doing something so once you accomplish silence you really could do anything else just because when you meditate you want to receive messages you want to relax so you have to relax yourself and doing that is the strong force that will bring about messages from the universe that you can utilize once your meditation is over and throughout the rest of your journey so if you don't know what to do, you don't know where to start, you're like, okay, I'm tapping into this spiritual stuff. What do I do? Sit down and shut up. And I say that respectfully. Just sit down and be quiet and just listen to your body. Listen to how your heart beats. Listen to what you feel when certain thoughts come to your mind. Listen to different voices. What do you hear? What do you feel around you even though your eyes are closed and you're sitting still? Really take notice of your environment and apply all of those aspects and notes that you take in to better accomplish yourself. What areas of your body are hurting? There's um, one video I seen on TikTok of this guy. He, I believe it was a bell. Like I'll get the guy's name and I'll put it up here. He had a video where he played a noise and he said, pay attention to which part of your body feels the noise. In order to have that, you have to relax your body. You have to sit in silence and pay attention to your body, which part of your body reacts to that noise. So pardon this interruption, I actually wanted to play the TikTok I was referring to because I thought it would be cool if you guys see which part of your body hears the noise. This is from Dr. Harrison Jones 4 on TikTok, so make sure you just relax, you have no distractions. If you're busy right now, just come back to this part of the video a little later and let me know down below which of your chakras or which part of your body what you thought of when you heard this noise. For myself, it was my sacral chakra right in the center. I was like, okay, so I need to do something with my digestive system, do something with the center of my body, see what's going on here and pay attention and work on it. So the main key and the main power of silence is to be able to first, you master how to relax yourself, which can be one of the hardest things to do because it's hard to self-discipline ourselves to be quiet when we're always thinking about our next move, what we have to do, what we did. Sometimes random traumas will pop up into your head and ruin your emotions. So if you're just able to bring yourself to a center balance, you can use that skill throughout your entire spiritual works your rituals, your manifestations, you know how to sit down and just center yourself automatically. And once you do that, if you're feeling angry throughout the day, if you different emotions pop up, you find yourself being moody, you will immediately know what to do and recenter yourself and restart. Second, you are able to hear messages from your spirit guides, ancestors, the universe easier because you removed all the noise, the physical noise, your surroundings. So now it's just clear pathways for you to receive messages without you second guessing is that just me talking to myself or was that the universe i know sometimes i have those moments too like okay universe if this is you say that one more time just because you're always talking and you're always on go you're always thinking about stuff so being able just to center yourself sit down be quiet and think about nothing it will make it so much easier to not only receive messages but to understand them and utilize them as well so the moral of the story in this noisy world, make sure you take time and listen to what silence has to say. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Like I always say, as above, so below, as within, so without, as the universe, so the soul. Until next time, you guys, I shave, baby.